Hello and welcome to yet another video in the Lambda Prolog and Hop tutorial. Today we'll not see anything new, but rather we will use all or nearly all that we saw before in an actual real world application. Though it will be small so as to fit in the 10 to 15 minutes limit. Um, so today we'll define and test a state machine. If you don't know anything about state machines or uh, automata, uh, it is really a powerful and expressive mathematical method uh, and if you are starting computer science studies you have to at least have an idea of what an automata is. So um, I suggest you go to the Wikipedia page um, because luckily it's really not hard to understand. Uh, so what I suggest is pause this video and read at least the few first paragraphs and it is simple enough so that you can understand with just a few paragraphs. Uh, of the Wikipedia page. So basically what a state machine is, it's um, it's modeled by some states, as its name implies, and you can uh, go from one state to another using transitions, and the transitions are triggered by conditions or actions. And to show you how simple it can be, so for example look at this, this is a state machine uh, model in a power button so, um, so if it is, if if it's if the machine is in the state on and you click the button, it's gonna power off. And if the machine is in the state off and you click the button, it's gonna power on. So the state machine can be as simple as that. Of course, we will do a machine that is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it has a wide variety of use. It can be used in linguistics, in uh, artificial intu intelligence, in a lot of other things. And this, for example, is one that can be used in linguistics. You see that a state machine, this state machine has two states, S1 and S2. Uh, you have to distinguish at least one initial state, um, uh, represented by this uh, in arrow, and at least one accepting or final state, which is modeled by the double circle. So here S1 is both initial and uh, final. So this machine accepts words that have a certain number of ones, uh, and can do as uh, can have as many ones as we want, but as soon as you do a zero, as soon as the word has a zero, uh, it goes into another state which is not final. So you can see that the the, the words accepted cannot have just one zero. After that zero, it can have an, any number of ones it wants, but it has to do another zero to come back to an accepting state. So you could see uh, right away that this is a machine that accepts the, the words on the alphabet 1 and 0 that have uh, an even number of zeros. So uh, I'm going to let you read more about this. You can pause the video and when you come back we'll jump right away. Go ahead, I'll wait. Alright, now if you paused and looked you know that a state machine has various components. Uh, which are states. Let's, let us write them here in a in a common section. So it has states. It has transitions to go from one state to another. It has an alphabet on which to run or to write the conditions that will trigger the transitions. Uh, and furthermore, in the states you have some final and some initial. Now, as you have read, state machines are sometimes used in linguistics and that's the example we're going to work on. We will design a machine that will recognize all words and only the words that satisfy these conditions. Uh, so the objective, let's say, the words that have to start with one. So let's take as an, as an alphabet just the natural numbers for convenience. The words have to start with one. And then they can have as many uh, alternation of 1, 2, and 3. Alternating 1, 2, and 3. But they cannot end with 3. So they have to end at least with 1 or 2. And when they have a 4, when a 4 is encountered, immediately a 5 is encountered. So the words, if, if there is a 4 in the world, it has to be followed immediately by a 5. And there is a way of writing this uh, formally. So the words, the accepted words, are of the form 1, and then 1 or 2 or 3 
star meaning meaning any number of um, one two and three so the star means zero or more but actually it can also have any number of or four followed by five and then to end it can end with either one or two or four and five so let's make a drawing of that just to make things more um, visible so we have a state let's call it oh sorry wrong tool okay so let's start with the state call it q1 or maybe s1 okay let's call it q1 uh, so in q1 which is the initial state it can have as many ones as it wants and it has to start with a one so actually this one we don't need so it goes in the state q2 with one so since it has to, to start with a one the only transition out of q1 of the initial state is labeled with the action one and then it can have one two or three as many one two and three as it wants but then as soon as it does a four it has to go to another state because if we do four here if we do four here then it can do a two after a four without doing five so we need another state let's call it q3 that um, go back to this one with five so a four has to be followed by a five but also since it can end with one four five you also have to have a final um a transition with five going to the q1 which will also make the final state so let me just erase the extra things but also it is acceptable to have the word one two according to our uh, specification here it can start it starts with a one and then it can can have an, a zero number of these and then it can have a two so we should be able to finish with the um, sequence of transitions one and two so you have to have another transition go into the final state labeled with two and it cannot end with a three and it can end with one four five uh so we're fine okay one um, actually we're not because you also have to accept the words one three one and here you see that one three one doesn't take you into a final state sorry for that so you have to also add another transition going back to the final state with one and i think now we're good Okay, so let's start modeling. Let's start with the types of a transition. Uh, so the transition will go from one state with a certain um, uh, it's called states uh, with a certain um, integer, so int, into another state and we're gonna make it a predicate so here we have to define the new type which is state kind state type then we'll also need a predicate or predicates final and initial that will tell us if a state is final or initial and let's declare also our states. We had Q1, Q2, Q3. I want to call them A, B, C actually. It's A, B, C uh, of type states. So, okay, so I replace them with A, B, C just for convenience. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now let's write our first transition. So, no, first initial is a and final is also a right so now a transition Transis transition from a with one takes us to b let me change this 
right so I change it accordingly a transition from B to from B with 1 to A A transition from B with 1 to B and then let me just finish them quickly right so I think I put all the transition there we have nine transitions now that's not enough we need something that will run the machine against a certain word to see if it accepts that word or not so let's say that a word is simply a list of integers so let's save this and let's go back to the sig file we want a predicate let's call it run state machine no run auto um, with a certain word so a list of int and in our machine so of typo all right so run auto with a certain word is gonna start at the initial state so first retrieve the initial state initial call it s and then start the machine at that state so we're going to need an extra predicate run auxiliary uh, starting with that state or rather on that word starting at that state so let's declare that type run augs on a list of n so the same word but this time it has also a state and it's a predicate so let's save that go back here and do run ox on nil so if we're if we if we're finished if the word is finished on a certain state that state has to be accepting so that state has to be final of s so the predicate final has to be true for that state let me resize so that we get all the code um, visible otherwise if the word is not finished so auxiliary with a certain word that starts with the letter and then the rest of the word uh, and, a, and a state s first of all let's see if there is a transition starting on that state with that letter and then let's retrieve the next state and then run augs with the rest of the word starting at that next state okay so it should be done now let's go ahead and compile this let's first clear everything and start with a tgcc state alright and declared constant initial why is that I forgot it I oh sorry save go back to this and then call it again all right tg link state and tg sim state all right what we can do with this is for example if we want to know all the tran the outgoing transitions of a certain state we can say transition for example the state b I want to know all the actions and all the um, next state of that B. So it says you can go to A using 1. Do you want more solution? You can say yes. You can go to A with 2. Yes. You can go to B, etc. So you can, you can do this all along and it will give you all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or something transitions going out of B. All right, but we've we've we didn't do all this just to test test the transitions. We're going to test if a certain word is accepted by the machine. So run auto, for example, one one is this word supposed to be accepted? I guess so, and it accepts the word. Does it accept the word one three one? Yes. Now let's see if it accepts the word one three one. Um, or one three four two and it shouldn't yeah it doesn't now let's change this to one two three four five two 
and it does. Okay, so that was uh, our uh, video for today. Uh, I just wanted to show you something that you can do with Lambda Prolog. This was Zach Shiani with the tutorial of the Lambda Prolog and Hope. Uh, see you soon for another video, and thank you for watching.